Welcome back golfers, uh, yeah I was in two minds of putting this uh, video up, I just had one of the terriblest rounds ever, um, I do pull this left, there are two uh, ladies walking up on the left hand side but where the position of the winter tee is, I, I clearly couldn't see them but I did walk down after the uh, next tee shot and apologise um, but they were just completely out of view. Um, so after that terrible first first uh, tee shot, I pulled this out of the bag. I mean, you just can't make it up. You go from one extreme to the other. Um, so then, <laughs> just I can't explain that one. That one just just happened. And then I pulled this one out of the bag. I mean, it's just, I, I can't explain it. Yeah, I go from one extreme to the other. I do think my uh, my chipping's coming on. Um, just a little bit more on distance control, but that's just more practice. So the pace is put. Um, wasn't wasn't too bad just a little bit uh, left and then just leave it short So on to the uh, second, uh, we're off the winter mats um, and from that position it's about 150, 150 yards, um, so I've got a 7 iron and I'll, I'll catch this quite well, um, just end up uh, left short. Yeah so I don't know what the ruling was for um, for this, um, where it's sectioned off, it's roped off, so I took it as a ground under repair and just pulled my ball back and just uh, chipped it through. I'm not sure if you're supposed to give yourself an extra penalty shot for that, but um, I didn't because I, I wasn't sure of the ruling. And another good chip. Um, I mean, that, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, just my putting. My putting's loosened me down really bad these last few rounds. And then drop it in for a four. So yeah, um, at the pro shop, I bumped into one of the uh, members, Doxley, who watches the channel. Um, I think it was Ike or Ike. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, buddy. Um, really appreciate it. So yeah, on to the third. I've got no idea what I'm doing now. This just gets spanned to the uh, to the right hand side, clunks the trees, and just drops down. But then I, I pull this shot out of the bag. I mean, it's just, I, I can't explain the frustration I'm going through that you can pull those shots out, but still do the, do the, uh, do the daft shots. So I'm just gonna uh, use my 52 degree wedge. I'm about 98 yards out. I catch it quite well, it just comes up a little bit short. Don't forget golfers, always replace those divots, look after the course and the course will look after you. So it doesn't end up too bad, I'm just going to try and chip a pitching wedge on. Uh, just rolls out a bit too far and then this is the part I hate the most for some reason I've just gone really nervous when I'm putting 
I'm either hitting it too far or um, too soft and just I don't I, I haven't got an excuse for it I just just don't feel comfortable putting but once it dries up a bit um, I am going to get onto the uh, putting surfaces and, and spend a good good few hours a day uh, practicing just left it short so on to the fourth so I've been pushing them uh, right all day this one goes left uh, clips the tree and just bounces about like a pinball inside the uh, trees so I've gone from that shot to pulling out one of these career best shots I mean straight through the trees uh, it's a five, you know, obviously it's the five iron the best club in the bag um, oh, to then doing that <coughs> I just I just don't know what's going on uh, so yes yeah, so I'm just going to try and nudge this out doesn't end up too bad so then about another uh, I think it was 90, 90 yards out so I've got my 52 uh, and I've caught it too, too clean it's gone right out of the back so I'm just going to try and use the 52 and uh, chip it on and just catch it a bit too much again it rolls towards the back of the to the front of the green sorry and then back to putting I mean that I had bad effort to be fair Ooh, it isn't a bad. bad effort at all but then to this I mean it's just I've definitely got to work on my putting my putting is the the worst part of the game at the moment. I mean, I know I'm pulling clubs, uh, drivers, and irons, um, but they are pretty straight. Get rid of that bad hole. Definitely, the putting needs a lot of work. Oh, sand driver. So yeah, onto the fifth. Um, I just scored in the middle, it. Just scored it, but it's in the middle and it's down there. That's the main thing. Now this upset me the most. Uh, I've got my five iron. Um, which is the best club in the bag and it does this to me I just clip the tree and it bounces back to the right hand side of the course so this isn't a bad wedge shot a little bit left oh, it's dance floor it's on the dance floor I mean what more can you ask for but just back to putting mm -hmm. I've really got to work on my putting Oh, <laughs> just lipped out. <laughs> just knock it in and walk away. So yeah, um, on to the six, par three. Um, I use, I normally use the pitching wedge, but today, because I've been using um, quite well with a 52 degree wedge, I use that and I managed to put it to the back of the green um, which I was impressed with and then the but put the put wasn't bad I mean what's that about four or five foot it's a four I mean one over I mean that's that, that's acceptable okay onto the seventh and then the driver just woke up I mean, I just put one straight down the centre. And then my five iron, the trusty five iron, um, that just woke up. Shot. <laughs> a little celebration. So I've gone from a perfect driver, perfect five iron, lifted up, didn't I? To then just hitting a rubbish wedge <sighs> up on that shot. rather than doing what Craig Thomas says who's the pro Toxley and just having a minute rather than rushing into Good. shots I uh, just have the well just turn into this so I've just bumped a pitching wedge about 10 foot and then just virtually done the same with another pitching wedge
just got to get a while, get rid of these nerves when putting. It, it also, as well, I'm not giving it chance, am I? I'm not hitting it, you know, like they do say, trying to hit the ball a foot past the hole. Just thought I'd show you this little feature on the uh, on the shot scope. So we're on the eighth. Uh, it's uh, 424 yards. So I've selected the driver. So if we unlock the unit and then press I, it tells you there's hazards on the right hand side. Uh, the front of the water is 238, to the back is 259. And it's telling me to lay up 200 yards. I think that's a pretty good feature on uh, on shot scope. Sorry, I thought I'd just show you my new Christmas toy. Uh, yeah, onto the eighth, um, and I pushed this out right again. I keep pushing on the eighth. I'm always ending up in the trees on the right hand side. So obviously that's the water in front of me, um, the water hazard. So I'm just going to try and just uh, bump this down into the fairway. Now I have got my five iron in hand. Um, which if you've watched this channel that's the best club in my bag I, I, I love the 5 iron but then it ends up there <laughs> you've got to watch this next trick shot um, I can't remember the, the golfer's name who does this shot but, but it's funny and I catch it and it's up there bouncing So yeah, just going to use a wedge now and try and um, just chip it on. But catch it a little bit clean, it goes to the back of the green. Yeah, so this is a bit of a monster putt. Um, Just a bit too much, a bit too fast. So putting uphill, it just goes to the right hand side. So rather than having a breather, just rush into the shot and end up um, not hitting it and it goes off to the left. Okay, on to the ninth. There's no excuses for this shot. I just uh, pull it left, bounces off a tree, uh, bounces into the middle. So, five iron. I mean, not the bestest shot in the world. It's down there. So then, five iron again. And how I didn't lose this ball in them trees is beyond me. It's like I've got my own um, private pinball machine in these trees. And it just drops where the white posts are for the out of bounds. So after all them shots, another, I end up doing this, just flicking it straight out. So yeah, just going to use a uh, pitching wedge. This was the bestest chip of the day. I think it's about four or five foot off a hole. The dreaded putt. Which he left short. Well, yep, thanks guys. Listen, no apologies. I didn't do the back nine. I was just so frustrated with myself. Um, so I just came off after the, uh, after the ninth. Just want to say a big thank you to all the subscribers and everybody that's been commenting on these videos. I do really appreciate it. Have a great weekend everyone.